Hello everyone, hey, so this is my first official video now for my channel and I figure today we will start with something quite simple. So today what I'm going to talk about is how to design PCR primers basically. Now these primers are only for, for example, if you have a sequence that you're interested in in a vector and you want to make sure to confirm that's actually there. This, these are primers that you will use. Mm, these primers are not for cloning or anything because actually I'm going to do another tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to actually um, use these programs to make a, a PCR primers for appropriate cloning. So today it's just very simple, very short. So let's get started then, shall we? Okay. So for this tutorial, I'm going to have um, this piece of uh, DNA that I'm, interest I'm interested in. So pretend that this um, sequence of DNA is actually in uh, a vector and that we want to kind of amplify this highlighted orange area sequence, right? So this whole area, which is uh, 1300 base pairs, um, this is the piece we want to amplify. Now, how do we do that? So of course we need to do a PCR. Now, I'm not going to talk about what PCR is and the background information because I'm again I'm going to do another video kind of on like different uh, molecular biology concepts and PCR is going to be one of those topics. So this is just going to be completely straight and to the point of how to design primers for PCR. So, so of course you know that we need two primers right to, for a PCR reaction to work. A forward and reverse. So how do we actually do that? Well, it's actually quite simple. First of all, we want to design the forward primer first. I mean, it doesn't really matter which one you do first, but you know, mostly people will start with the four, four ones. Very simple. So what I like to do is uh, using the sequence builder uh, program, which most universities um, you know, have these programs that you can use for free, that I like to construct a primer around 24 base pairs. Minimum of 20 is what I've heard and read about. That should be 20 exact base matches. But I like to go a little bit more than that. So I just like to do. I like usually like to do 24 for standard primer design. So I have this 24 bases highlighted at the beginning, and um, I'm going to indicate that by using a new feature function and I'll just type in um, primer well I'll type in forward primer okay and um, I can change the um, change the color so easier to see I guess okay like that so here we have the forward primer design and again, it's the first 24 base pairs at the beginning of the sequence that you're interested in. Okay, so next we want to design the reverse primer. Now, the reverse primer, well, well in, instead of a, uh, well, let me back up a little bit actually. So the four primer is based off the uh, five prime to three prime sequence, right? Just the, uh, uh, the so the first uh, top strand of this DNA sequence, the uh, five prime to three prime sequence which is a complement to the 3 prime to 5 prime bottom sequence. Reverse primer, as it sounds, exactly the opposite, right? So it's the, um, oops, sorry. So it's the bottom strand, which will be complement to the top strand. In that case is where we can create, you know, amplify this uh, piece of orange sequence that we're interested in. So I'm just going to start highlighting from the bottom because that's what we're interested in. So again, I'm going to highlight 24, 24 bases. So right here. Okay, right here. So I'm going to new feature it and I'm going to call it just reverse primer. Okay. Double check that. Yep, 24 bases. And I'm going to, let's say, I'll just make it, I don't know, different color, how about green, sure, why not? Okay, so here is the reverse primer. As you can see, it's at the end of the sequence, or I should say it's downstream of the 
uh, sequence that we want to amplify. So if you take this as a whole, we have uh, there are four reverse primers uh, located at the beginning and the end of our sequences. Now, what you want to do, of course, you know you want to place the order for the primer. So you usually you want to, of course, copy the sequence. So instead of you know writing it down, what most people do is that just control and copy it. It's very simple and it's, you know easier not to make a mistake that way. So what you want to do is just kind of highlight the beginning strand here, the top strand, and just control C, copy, open a Word document, that's what I like to do, and boom, there we go. And this is the five prime to three prime forward primer. Right. What I like to do also is uh, separate it in triplets. I know, just something I like to do. You don't have to do this, obviously, but to me, this makes it much easier to uh, to read. And also, if I'm considering about frame shifts and such and cloning projects, this is a lot easier to deal with as well. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Okay, now for the reverse primer, remember, most websites, they want, and when you read it in literature, that when they show you two primers, the four and reverse are in the same orientation. As in, the both are from five prime to three prime, written out that way. It's easy for the four primer because it's just the top strand. But for the reverse primer, you need to write it in a way that's the reverse complement. Okay, I'll repeat that again. So you need to write it in the reverse complement direction. So if we're looking at the top, the bottom strand here, right? So this is this is the five prime region right here where my cursor is. And here is the five, uh, here is the uh, three prime region. So we want to write it from five prime to three prime, and it's, it's the complement of the top strand. And it's reversed because we're writing it this way instead of this way, right? So going from right to left instead of left to right. So this is this is a neat trick that you can do. All you have to do is actually just highlight the bottom, and then if you go, oops, sorry, if you go this way, then it should automatically put it to the right orientation. So let's see if this works. Control copy. And the first, it should be TGA, GCA. Let's see if that's true. Yep, TGA, GCA. So it worked. So I'm just going to do my thing here and separate everything out in triplets. And again, this is now 3 prime to 5 prime to 3 prime. And this is the reverse primer. And yeah, and basically at this point you can go back, make sure to check the sequence is correct. But that's pretty much it. That's how you design very simple PCR primers, not taking consideration whether this is going to be used for cloning or not, because we're not inserting any restriction enzyme sites, and we're not doing this for homologous recombination, for example, you know, uh, back system or anything. So this is just, for example, you want to create primers and you want to amplify a segment maybe for a confirmation if someone gives you a plasmid or something and you're not sure if that target sequence is in there you can download the sequence design primers to target the specific sequence and then you can run your PCR and then see well okay is it actually there or not so again PCR is a very powerful tool and I will um, make a video kind of going behind the theory of PCR and you know, what it actually is and a whole review on PCR basically um, there's actually a lot of information, and I'm not going to get into that right now in this video. So, I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope that you subscribe, because there will be more to come later on. Thank you for your time, and I hope, again, everyone's uh, research is going well. This is, um, well, this is it, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm signing off.